Guys, many of you know that the ATF is now reconsidering their ruling on bump stocks being legal under the NFA law. Uh, the NFA is the National Firearms Act, and it was to regulate uh, certain items, machine guns, short barrel rifles, suppressors, and there is very specific. And if you've ever read any kind of legislation, you know that uh, things have to be spelled out very clearly in what is legal and what's not legal. Uh, the fact is, is we have uh, our nation is a rule of law. Uh, we're based on rule of law, and that means that everything's legal unless there is a law against it. Uh, and it has to be very specific. It has to be, and it and it helps us to know what the rules are. Uh, when the NFA was enacted, uh, one of the things that identifies a machine gun is that any firearm that when you pull the trigger and multiple rounds are fired is considered a machine gun. Uh, but a single pull of the trigger or a single release of the trigger does not constitute a machine gun under federal law. And this has been ruled a number of times by the ATF. In fact, bump stocks, I believe, have been ruled on three times that have affirmed that it is not part of the NFA item. It does not violate NFA law. Uh, now with the new ruling, they're trying to reconsider it and kind of change the wording and maybe possibly make bump stocks and binary or triggers that fire when you pull and release as full automatic, uh, as a machine gun. And guys, the problem is, is that that makes ATF uh, a legislative branch. They are creating law. Guys, Congress and the Senate are the only branch of government that can create a law, that can enact a law. The executive branch, uh, and that's what the ATF falls under, uh, they can only enforce the law. They can't make new law. <laughs> now, whether you agree with bump stocks or binary triggers or anything else that increases the rate of fire of a firearm, that's beside the point. The thing is, there are over 20,000 federal, state, and local laws uh, on the books. And that was even in 1980 is when that figure was brought up. So there's probably a lot more than that now. Tim at Military Arms Channel uh, was just released a video last night about this specific subject and actually did an interview with a former ATF administrator. And so it's, it's a very informative video. I'll have the link down below. You can go check it out. I'll have it right here annotated. Uh, it's about an hour and a half. So it's, it's uh, a lot of information, uh, but very good. But we're not gonna get into all those details. What I am gonna say is guys, is we need to stand on the law of the land and not some kind of regulation. Because if we start being able to be regulated uh, into some kind of submission, you know, it's a very dangerous, slippery slope. Yes, right now we have a, a Republican House and Senate and a president uh, that can enact a lot of things. But if we give up the, uh, the right to law and let the ATF create law, uh, then the next you know, president or House of Representatives or whatever that come into effect uh, could actually use that to even more effect against us. So this is something that is extremely important to be able to voice your opinion. Uh, there's only a few days left. I believe in January 25th, they're going to close the comments. But as it stands right now, the ATF has had to bring in a lot of different people to come in to review the comments <laughs> because there have been so many. But guys, we need more. We need more people to get involved. And what you do is go to the ATF website. Uh, I'll have Gun Owners of America has a perfect setup to go and to, to fill out the form. Uh, yes, you have to register with the ATF. But listen, guys, that's not a big deal. There's so many people that have registered. Uh, they're not going to come to your house. There's only uh, 2,000 field agents, and uh, they have no time to do that. And, you know, there's no issue. But here's the point regardless, is to stand on principle and, and keep your voice. Make your voice be heard. That is the most important thing that we can do, uh, not from fear or whatever. You know, the ATF has no jurisdiction over you unless you're breaking the law breaking federal law uh, regarding firearms and explosives. And so as long as you're not doing that, you should definitely feel confident to go to this website, register, and leave a comment. Now, Gun Owners of America has a number of different uh, comments that you can just plug in or you can do your own, which I did. I did my own uh, argument uh, about it. And keep it short and concise. Keep it very friendly. Uh, one of the things that they do at the ATF is if you have a very nasty comment, they just disregard it. They just delete it. 
Also, you need to get in touch with your congressmen and senators and uh, because this takes away the power of our legislators. Uh, this you know, usurps their power to make law and reinterpret law. So guys, we need to definitely get involved. It's a very timely issue. I've been very involved on Facebook, putting out a lot of stuff on this already. Uh, this is just the first video that I've actually released. I've been meaning to do it. And uh, after watching Tim's video, I knew that I needed to go ahead. Guys, we need to get involved. We need to get behind it. We need to make our voice heard now. If you get caught with a bump stock, if this regulation is turned, to make bump stocks and different trigger systems under the NFA law. There's no grandfather clause. Uh, if you get caught with it, it's like having a machine gun. Uh, and you can face the 10 years in prison, $10,000, face a felony. And uh, But to be honest with you, you could probably beat it in the courts. But the problem is, is you may face jail time and then spend thousands upon thousands of dollars to win in court. So guys, get involved. I can't stress it enough that we need to stand and stand firm. Again, whether you think that bump stocks or trigger systems or whatever increases the rate of fire is no interest to you, uh, it is a big interest if you love the way America works. <laughs> Not that it's perfect, because it's definitely a big mess a lot of times. But the statutes and the way that our country was founded, uh, this definitely is degrading our way of life and the way that our government works. And so we need to stand against it. So guys, get involved, get out there, contact your Congress and Senate, get on the Gun Owners of America link and sign up and make your voice be heard. I'll have all that information down below in the description. And so please do your part because guys, we've got to stand. Again, there's already over 20,000 gun laws on the books and we don't need any more and we definitely don't need something that is interpreted falsely. Uh, these gun laws have been very specific, very precise. The ATF has no power over them. It's just like with um, these AR pistols and AK pistols uh, where you put a brace on it. It's still a pistol and uh, it's not a stock and the ATF has ruled on that. If we allow for bump stocks and binary triggers or Fostec Echo 2s or whatever to be regulated, then we could see a lot more coming down the pipe. Be strong, be of good courage. God bless America, long live the Republic. And just a message from Rubber Dummy, he said, let your voice be known because he has no mouth.